when they when I do, okay, fair enough, take a supplement and see if the sleep problems go away. But even if they are the trigger to your sleep problem, mm -hmm. they're generally not the perpetuating factors. So even if you fix those things, it's gone on for too long for it to actually have an effect on long-term insomnia. So you may fix the original problem and maybe that helps some symptoms, but usually in terms of sleep, if you've had the sleep problem for longer than three months, it does not matter what the original cause was at all. You've got a habitual problem, therefore you need to ignore whatever it is. I mean, by all means, if you get your blood done, but that's one of the first things people usually get done. Um, and then they, they'll move on, realize that there's nothing that they can do, but then I see a lot of patients taking a lot of different medications. There is some anecdotal evidence for various different things. But unfortunately, when we call it anecdotal, what we mean is there's no robust evidence. There's not right. thousands of studies able to repeat that research and basically show again and again in lots of different types of populations that this is going to work. So, you know, that it might provide you, it's a bit like with weight loss. You know, there's, there's a massive industry to do with weight loss. We know effectively weight loss is energy in versus energy out. Yes, if you look at the science down to the very tiny little, you know, um, components to weight loss mm -hmm. and yes there's lots of different variables in that process and you can start targeting a few of them but actually at the end of the day if you want to do it then it's usually you just got to eat less that's literally it um and it's similar with sleep there is one way that we know of right now one evidence-based way there is no other ways we are trying really hard to manipulate sleep you if you do any research into any government any any um, big like uh, kind of organization like the Navy um, or like the RAF uh, or NASA, they're mm -hmm. all trying to manipulate sleep as much as they can. Because for example, we don't understand really why we have light sleep. It's not as important to, from what we know right now, we don't seem to understand why it's as important as deep sleep or REM sleep, which we know are incredibly important. And even then we don't actually know really why we've got theories, but we don't actually know. So they're trying to manipulate it all the time, and they do with no good results. And they've been doing it for many decades, and they are not getting the results they want. Because surely, if, if we could, if we could make sleep shorter, we're always trying to become more efficient human beings. We would, and we can't. 